Today we're going to disassemble the EVGA GTX 780 Ti Classified Kingpin Edition. It is an extremely simple process. All you need is a handy Phillips screwdriver. The first step is to flip the card face down so you're looking at the back plate. We are going to remove the entire ACX cooler which is only held on by five screws. These first four screws are going to have a retention spring on them. You can take a look at it here. Next we need to flip the card back over and remove the ACX cooler. The thermal paste is going to act as an adhesive so you'll have to wiggle the card a little bit to loosen that. Don't pull the cooler off too hard because there is a fan header connected to the PCB and to the fans. There's also a small lip on the metal of the video output and the plastic piece of the ACX cooler fits underneath of it. Once the cooler is loose, just remove the fan cable from the fan header by pulling it out. Next we want to remove the thermal paste from the cooler as well as the GPU. The ACX cooler is a great one. It has a 40% increase in heat sink volume which helps pull a lot of the heat away from the GPU itself. However, if you've got this particular card and watching this particular video, you're not going to need this at all. This card was designed to be put under water or liquid nitrogen. And if you're not doing that, then you're not going to get the full potential out of this card. Both the 780 Ti Classified and Kingpin Editions come with these heatsink plates attached. This one is around the video RAM that surrounds the GPU. And more importantly, the heatsink plate for the VRM. Actually, probably a more accurate term is heat spreader, but I'll use those interchangeably from time to time. Not to mention, it's just an all-around great looking card. I like the color scheme and everything. Alright, so let's get these things cleaned off. I like to start getting the bulk of the old thermal paste off using an old credit card or gift card. It saves a lot of time and paper towel from just wiping it all off. Once I get the bulk of it off using a card, I'll take a piece of paper towel and wipe off the majority of what's left before I apply any cleaning solution. And then I do the same for the cooler. Once I've removed the majority of the old thermal material, then I'll apply a cleaning solution and use a paper towel to wipe it down until it looks almost completely clean. For the purposes of this video, I just use paper towel until 
prior to applying new thermal paste, then I will use a coffee filter. The purpose of using a coffee filter is because it won't leave behind lint like paper towel will, which will get stuck between the heat sink or the cooler and the GPU itself. Any materials left behind, such as lint, that are between the GPU, the thermal paste, and the heat sink that do not conduct heat away will not allow your GPU to be cooled as effectively as possible. Now that we have everything cleaned off and we're not going to get thermal paste everywhere, we're going to remove the heat spreaders as well as the back plate. We are first going to remove the VRM heat spreader. It is only held on by three screws. Be sure to hold the card securely so that you don't mash any of the card's more delicate components against the table or the surface that you're working on. Here you can see the exposed VRM. And next we need to remove the VRAM heat spreader that surrounds the GPU. Before the VRAM heat spreader will come off of the card, we will first need to remove the back plate. There are eight screws that connect both the back plate and the VRAM heat spreader. So we'll remove these eight screws first and detach the back plate. We'll take a quick look at the back plate here. This is actually the same back plate that is used on the 780 Ti Classified Edition as well as the, the Kingpin Edition. Next we need to remove the VRAM heat spreader. There are only four remaining screws. And just like the VRM heat spreader, there are thermal strips underneath the heat spreader that it may have adhered to the components that are connected to the PCB. So you may have to pry this part off slowly by pulling on each corner of it. And that's it. You have a completely disassembled EVGA GTX 780 Ti Classified Kingpin Edition card. You are now ready to install any compatible aftermarket cooling setup that you would like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and feel free to watch more.